In this tutorial, we will create pedestal bearing block, front view and top view. First click on start drawing. Then at first we will have to create the space for this drawing using limits command. For limits, we will take the value of here the maximum length is 310 plus 40 plus 40 that is 390. We will take more than that. We will take 500 comma 500. Give the limits command. Enter. Then give lower left corner 0 comma 0. Enter. Then upper right corner 500 comma 500. Enter. Then give the zoom all. Z enter. A enter. Now in this drawing at first we will create these two reference line. Vertical and horizontal. That we will create freehand. We will take this first line. Make ortho on. Enter. Then again enter to repeat the command. Give the first point. Give the second point. Now this is the center point that we have created. Then at first we will create this polygonal object. This is a polygon of 50 radius. That is the face to face distance of this polygon is 100. Therefore we will create one polygon using circumscribe method. Because face to face distance is given with 50 radius. And the number of edges for this polygon will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means this is a polygon of 8 edges. Take the polygon command, then give the number of sides 8, enter, then give the center point here, then choose the circumscribed about circle, then take the cursor away and give the radius of 50, enter. This polygon is ready. Then this upper portion is at a distance of 35, you will offset this line, horizontal line, take the offset. Give the distance of 35, enter, select this line, give the upper side and click there. And press enter. We will create the outside polygon at a gap of 2 using offset command again. Offset, give the distance of 2, enter, select the polygon, click outside and enter. Then we need to extend this line up to these vertical lines. And we want to erase these 3 edges. For that we will explode the polygon. Click on explode, select both the polygon, press enter, then erase, E enter, select the edges you want to erase, enter. Then give the extend command from here, extend, then press enter and click on the edges you want to extend. Now this portion is ready. At first we will create the half portion and that we will mirror on the opposite side. Now to create this line at a distance of 155 by 2. Take the offset command again. Offset. Then give the distance of 155 divided by 2. Enter. Select this line. Click on this side. Then again this line is at a distance of 310 divided by 2. So offset is still running, click on this line, gives a gap of 310 divided by 2, enter. Then next is this line will be at a distance of 40, again take this line, give the side, give the distance of 40, enter. This horizontal line will be at a distance of 95, again offset 95, this horizontal line on the bottom side. Then again this line will go up by this distance 25 plus 6 that is 31. Select the line, give the side, give the distance of 31, enter, enter. Now we have all the reference line, only one line remain is this one. This line is the part of this arc. Now this arc is of radius of 32. That means from this center, this line will be at a distance of 32. We will offset that line also, offset 32. And it will be from the this line. That means this line. On this side 32 is there. Give the side and click there. And enter. Trim the unwanted edges to create the final shape. Give the trim command. Now we want to remove all the edges from this edge. Then this edge, this edge and this edge. Enter. Then remove these edges. Take the crossing window. 
enter here also take the crossing window then again this age is not required trim tr enter from this age enter and click we don't need this age this age is required up to this line only up to this line so again we can trim it trim select the edges and remove the unwanted edges and trim other portion also so it will be easy to work then this horizontal line also we don't need it ahead we will trim it also from this line ahead okay here it is of 28 that is 14 on either side again offset it by 14 on either side then from bottom it is a gap of 3 and after that it is of 18 again offset O oh, enter gap of 3 enter from here to up, upside and again this line will be at a distance of 18 enter then again this is of 44 square that is 22 from the center line again this line on this side at a distance of 22 enter then trim the unwanted edges trim select this line this line this line enter then use the crossing edges now here it is a completely clear use the crossing edge click at empty place on the right side and take your cursor on the left side and click there and again we don't need these lines and again this internal portion enter now this portion is ready then next is this one it is at a distance of 45 that means from center it will be half on either side again offset 45 divided by 2 on either side again trim it tr enter cutting edges and object to trim enter then here is the arc of 6 radius create one circle then we will trim it circle give the center point give the radius of 6 then trim it enter and select the unwanted object enter then here it is a gap of 12 and here also it will be 12 because this gap is 24 therefore half of 24 will be 12 from either side it is 12 give the offset of 12 from this line to this line on this side and from this line to this side enter then fillet here is the fillet of 3 fillet it fillet give the radius of 3 enter select the first line select the second line same way on this side fillet enter the radius is already set select first line select the second line erase the below line e enter select enter here is one fillet is required we will give the fillet now here radius is not specified so we will assume it to be 3 3 is already there select the first line select the second line then same portion is on the opposite side we will just mirror it on the other side we will just trim the unwanted edges enter and remove all this portion and erase it then mirror it click on mirror select all the object enter give the first point of mirror line give the second point enter and here this line is required at a distance of 6 on this side so offset this line by 6 offset 6 enter this line on the bottom side enter then extend this line ex enter give the boundary edges this line and this line i want to extend it up to these two lines enter click on the object enter then create the layers click on layer properties new layer one will be center choose the color okay then click here on the continuous click on load click here and press c on the keyboard c for center then okay 
then choose the center ok then again new layer hidden again choose the color ok then click on the center click on load click here click edge for hidden ok then choose the hidden ok give some color to this also zero layer will give it yellow ok then close this now choose the lines which needs to be hidden select the lines with crossing window all this portion will be hidden then this portion also then click here and select hidden escape now hidden is not properly visible to make it properly visible give LTS command enter then increase the scale factor I will make it 15 then these lines are the center lines select all the center lines and click on the center layer and escape then again layer properties we will create one more layer for hatch choose the color ok and line type will be continuous only close it then create hatch portion here and give the hatch command select inside the portion where you want to apply the hatch then we need the NC 31 then increase the scale suppose 15 enter we'll increase it further more 30 ok then we want this on the hatch layer click here on the properties click here and select hatch layer and click on close hatch creation then we need this center line outside a bit click on the blue box and pull it outside click go outside and click again same way for this portion click take it outside ok then escape now in this view we need to create this portion here so we will just extend this line up to this line click on extend select the boundary up to this line enter click on the line you want to extend enter now we need this portion to be continuous we will break this line at this point click on break at point select the line then give the point this point then we need a fillet here and we need line type of this line to be continuous click on match property select this source object select this destination object enter then fillet it give f enter select first line select second line in the next tutorial we will create the plan view thanks for watching we will stop here